and my voice is really, if I don't sing a, a 15 minutes nonstop before I perform, I can't sing. So I'll start out with a little talking song about a philosopher. Philosophers come in all kinds. Driving down a dirt road in Georgia, in 83, I saw a man with a yard full of rusty cars. I stopped to ask for directions, and he said, come on up and sit a spell. So I'm swinging on a porch eating bologna and bread and talking about getting old. Spitting in the dust with a man in the yard full of rusty cars. Scratching the ears of the dog with a man in the yard full of rusty cars. Tell him I've gone to Hades and he says, well, that's real nice. Says Marge, your size T, you could sure use a little more ice. Now, what was you saying about going to Hades? Says a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Watching the flies in the kitchen, a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Holding the screen door with a dog crawling in and out. Careful with that soup, son, it'll burn a hole in your mouth. Soup in life, you gotta learn to wait them out. This is a man with the yard full of rusty cars. Kick off your shoes on a couch with a man with the yard full of rusty cars. Eat homemade pecan pie and leave the plates right there on the floor. He said, son, everything here has been burned or broke at least once before. And he winks at his old lady and she winks back at the man with the yard full of rusty cars. So I'm talking God and baseball with a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Fall asleep right there on the couch where we sit. You know his old lady, she don't mind a bit. Leastwise, she don't mention it. By that smiling, smoking, dirty joking, the lucky old man with a yard full of rusty cars. Let's try something. I'm not sure my voice will hold up with this, but we're going to try it anyway. This is in B flat. You'll love it. This is an actually old uh, song written by DJ O'Malley. Many cowboy songs, or so-called cowboy songs, were actually written by people in New York City on a piano bench. The real cowboy songs all come from the 1870s, 1880s, of which this one. About a cowboy trying to get back home to see his mother. <laughs> Group of jolly cowboys discussing plans at ease. Said one, I'll tell you something if you will only please. I'm an old cow puncher and I'm dressed most in rags. I used to be a good one, boys, I went on great big tracks. I have a home, boys, a good one you all know. But I haven't seen it since long, long ago. But I'm going home, boys, once more to see them all. Yes, I'll see my mother when the work's all done this fall. She begged me to stay, boys, for me she would have died. But it didn't treat her right, boys, my hard-earned cash I've spent. When I should have saved it to my mother's sent. But after the roundup's over and after the shipping's done, I'm going back home, boys, there all my money's gone. My mother's heart is breaking, breaking for me, that's all. But with God's help, I'll see her when the work's all done this fall. Then that very night, this cowboy went on guard. The night it was dark and was starting very hard. The cattle, they got frightened and they rushed in mad stampede. He did his best to check them, 
riding at full speed, riding in the darkness, oh loud he did shout, doing his utmost to turn the herd about. But his saddle horse he stumbled and on him he did fall. Now the boy won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall. They picked him up gently and they laid him on a bed. But the poor boy was mangled, they thought that he was dead. Then he opened up his blue eyes and gazed all around. Then he asked his comrades to sit there on the ground. Now, Bill, you can have my saddle, and George, you can have my bed. And Jack, you can have my pistol after I'm dead. I'm going to a new range, boys, I hear the master's call. Now, I'll see my mother when the work's on on this hill. Charlie was buried at sunrise, no tombstone for his head. Just a little slab of wood, and this is what it said. Charlie died at daybreak, he died from a fall. Now the boy won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall. The writer of that song, people have debated when it says, now I'll see my mother when the work's all done this fall, indicates that his mother had already died. And my great granddad said, the reason the lyrics are the way they are, Charlie was buried at sunrise, no tombstones for his head. Uh, Charlie died at daybreak. Uh, Charlie died at sunrise and buried at daybreak because great granddad said it would take him that long for them to dig the grave. So that's why the words are phrased like that. Uh, the real cowboy song now, a lot of singers today wear cowboy hats. They claim that they're country people, but I wrote a song about those guys. Most of them never been on a ranch. Hank Williams once said, you can't write a country song if you don't know what the backside of a mule smells like. Their wolves in sheep's clothing, that's where they all hide. They tell us that their homes run in country pride. But they were raised in cities where there ain't no cows. They never could sing country and they can't sing now. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. They wear hats and boots but sound like rolling stones. And you can't tell which one is which cause they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. It's watered down rock and roll, Lawrence Welk style. They can't compete with Aerosmith that eat them alive. So they dress like Hank Williams and they sing with a twang. They call it modern country, but geek rock is its name. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. They wear hats and boots, but sound like rolling stones. And you can't tell which one is which, cause they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers and country clothes. Now we play real country, the disc jockey claims, but like Will Shakespeare says, what's in a name? If it looks like rock and sounds like rock, then partner, guess what? Hey, you can call it country, but I will say not. Beware of rock and rollers and country clothes. They wear hats and boots, but sound like rolling stones. Hey, you can't tell which one is which, because they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers and country clothes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 
different fashion, everybody. I'm going to do it the same about opera. I majored in music in college, and I had to take opera classes, and I failed one test, and the constructor said to me, he said, do you listen to this aria? And you said it was a Wagner aria in German. He said she was singing in English. I said, who would know? So this is a song I wrote called I Don't Like the Opera. Give me a little violin there, a little <laughs> Santo Lucino. I went to the opera, my date said I'd like the show, I wanted to please her, I didn't want her to know, I don't like the opera, the singers all yell a lot, overweight vocalist and sophomoric plots, hark how they sing so loud, the tenor is starting, when he sings a high C, my hair is parting, Screaming sopranos, blood curling baritones, singing a sextet. Now I wish that I was home. Butterfly. For this I had to get dressed up in a black suit and tie. I don't understand the words Japanese and Italian. Some guy in a sailor suit, it sure is confusing. But by the second act, I started to understand. Poor Madam Butterfly, her father's sword in her hand. When she sings a melody, Music is wonderful, so I like the opera. The opera is Yeah, it's interesting though that Don Giovanni and Figaro and the, the guy from Cosivantute and Ferreo, they're all from Madrid, yet they never seem to run into each other. You can't get it. Anyway, all right, you have to be an opera book, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, let's do uh, a political song. Okay. I know everybody goes, no, we can do a political song, but I am. Um, Doing the key, I know. Which is? We'll do it. We'll do it in B. Okay. Once there was a folk group, a pickin' singin' folk group. They sang the mountain ballads and the folk songs of our land. They were long on musical ability and folks said they would go far. But political incompatibility led to their downfall. And the one on the right was on the left, and the one on the left was in the middle, and the one in the middle was on the right, and the guy in the rear was a Methodist. Now this musical aggregation toured the entire nation, singing mountain ballads and the folk songs of our land. But they took their politics seriously, and one night at the concert hall, while the audience stood deliriously, they had a free for all. And the one on the left was on the top, and the one on the right was on the bottom, and the one in the middle got a broken arm, and the guy in the rear said, oh dear. Oh dear. Now let this be a lesson, if you should start a folk group, don't go mixing politics with the folk songs of our land. Just work on harmony and diction, and play your banjo well. And if you've got political convictions, keep them to yourself. 
Now the one on the right works in the bank, and the one on the left drives a truck. And the guy in the middle has an infomercial, and the guy in the rear teaches kindergarten. <laughs> I'm not my voice voices of singing gold paint yet. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How about a uh, Deep in the Heart? I rewrote Deep in the Heart of Texas because the guy that wrote it knew it's kind of dumb lyrics. The moon and sage, you know, it's just kind of so I'm a real Texan. I know people say some people don't like Texans and some do. And I'm a native born Texan, born and raised. And uh, I wrote it for Texas, so there's this stuff really about Texas that you really want to know. And uh, also, the original one didn't have a bridge and needed one. Round up in the spring is a sight to see. Deep in the heart of Texas, cowboy is roping, horse is loping. Deep in the heart of Texas, roadrunners chase, rattle and snakes. Deep in the heart of Texas, and armadillos, well, they cross those roads. Deep in the heart of Texas, the Lone Star State is my homeland. From the muddy Red River to the Rio Grande, I've been a lot of places, but I want you to know. Always happy when I get back home. Rampant, uh, Alamo, and San Antonio. Sorry about that. Deep in the heart of Texas, and blue bond is blue from March to June. Deep in the heart of Texas, Woodville's pines are mighty fine. Deep in the heart of Texas, and you can soak your feet. Old Cow Creek, deep in the heart of Texas. Cuisine is your thing. Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage is the sausage for you. Billy Bob's rattlesnake sausage is made with only four foot long or longer diamond back rattlesnakes. So you know you're getting the finest in reptile cuisine. <laughs> Billy, Bob's, Billy Bob's rattlesnakes are gathered by his specially trained staff, one arm Sam and fingerless Fred. Each have years of experience and missing body parts to prove their expertise in choosing rattlesnakes for barbecuing. Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage is so finger licking good that everyone who eats it wants to give Billy Bob the finger. So remember, Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage, the sausage bite. Thank you. Uh, uh, I wrote a Cajun song that I like to do. I, I grew up in East Texas, in Louisiana, and I have some Cajun relatives. And when I was in eighth grade, I had a girlfriend, Nellie Malonzo. So I put her in the story and made the story up. And uh, my grand, my great grandfather worked for Southern Pine Lumber Company, which is also on it, and that's on the Trinity River. So, so we can do this. Are we ready? I think I think the guitar is my key. We can do without that.
by the banks of the Trinity River. Ladybugs thick in the air. Actually, no, sing along this one. This is one way. By the banks of the yeah, we still we don't have rehearsals much, yeah. We used to get paid nine dollars an hour for a rehearsal when I was in the orchestra building. Now, don't tell her that. By the banks of the Trinity River, the ladybugs thick in the air. Under the limbs of a cypress sat a maid with bright golden hair. Her smile was like acres of daisies in her hand the blue parasol. Eyes that out sparkled dewdrops by beautiful Nell Molson. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, come with me all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri, Nell Molson. Nelly, your papa won't give you the way to this poor lumberjack. All that I own in this whole world, I carry in this knapsack. But Nelly, I won't always be poor. My friend Claude and I have a plan. For Rob Southern Pine Lumber's payroll. And Nelly, I'll buy you some land. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, come with me all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, won't you read Nell Molson now? We hid by the Trinity River thick brush nearby the stream, waited for Southern Pines wagon, anxious to pull off our scheme. We heard the wagon wheels rolling, we heard the driver's whip crack, with bandanas over our faces, we bravely rode into their path. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, Come with me all along, all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri, Nell Molson. Lord sit, stand, and deliver. Then the guard's bullet ripped through his chest. I rode for the Trinity River, and bullets buzzed by as I sped. Suddenly my back felt a burning, my left shoulder took the next bound. The guard's aim was rapid and deadly, but the next shot, I hit the ground. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, this world I'm leaving au revoir. Farewell, my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri, Nell Molson.
loosen up. Sorry, we got a little bit though. <clears throat> okay, this is an actual island zone. And uh, you can say, what is a cowboy doing in island zone? Well, <laughs> On the beach, walking with me, is my brown skin, lovely Marie. We sit on the beach on the sand, that's when she takes a hold of my hand. I gaze in her beautiful eyes, she puts her hand on my thigh. Her kiss goes straight to my heart, that's when I get sand in my shorts. Sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts. There's sand from starboard to port. Now it's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants. Palm trees sway to and fro, making love to the shore. Marie says, lay down, my dear, and I'll whisper soft in your ear. She says, will you give me a thrill? She says, do you feel what I feel? I say, yes, I feel it, my dear, but a sand crab is pinching my rear. Sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts. There's sand from starboard to port. Now it's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants. Good. So now people listen to me. If you go to the Caribbean, you sit on the beach with your love, with the palm trees swaying above. I'll give some advice to you now. Take a large blanket or towel. So when you make love on the beach, you'll get no sand in your BBD. Sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts. There's sand from starboard to port. It's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants.